father. It's not of who? It's not of the father. It's, these things are not of the father, man. But who is it of? But is of the world. That's the world. Give me Job 9 and 24. Hold it. You drop that. Give me Job 9 and 24. All these things are of the world. So my question is, who owned this world, man? Who owned this world? You're about to find out. Job 9 and 24. Read that for me. Job chapter 9 verse 24. And the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. It's given unto who? Into the hand of the wicked. This earth has been given to the hands of the wicked. Everything we do of this world is of Satan, man. Nobody paying no attention to the Father. Our heart has been far from the Father, man. We don't even know His name. We don't know what God we worship. This earth has been given to Satan, man. And that's exactly why the things we are doing of this world keeping us far from the Father. We need to wake up as a people. That's number one. And come together. And religion is predominantly amongst our people, the most separated, man. We're the most separated people. And y'all can't even see that. You got the blacks against the Hispanics. The Hispanics against, against the Native Americans or whatever. The Mexicans against the blacks. We all the same people. We all been oppressed by the same people. We all, on the, we all still on the bottom. Working for a minimum wage, man. Working for a min minimum wage. It's a shame. Crabs in the bucket. Going through the same condition, but fighting each other to get to, to try to get out. And we can't even do it. What scripture I ask for? Well, nah, you got it. I'm going to give you the name of the most high, man. That's another important thing that we should... I should discuss because we're not being taught what God's name is. Give me page 130. You're going to find out that the God you serve in your religions or the God being served on this earth is not the God of this Bible at all. Look at, look at the situation that we're going through. This can't be God's country. Are you serious? In God we trust. But let's legalize homosexual marriage. What kind of God let you do what you want? Have your churches telling you there's no law to be kept. What kind of God is that? What kind of God is that? Yeah, that's, we, don't, we don't teach that the white man's a devil. That's a false doctrine. I'm going to say it again. We don't teach that doctrine, man. Because it's not the white man standing in our neighborhood selling drugs. That's, that's not the white man doing that. We the ones that are doing that. It's not, it's not the white man shooting at black people. We killing it. We killing ourselves, man. So stop blaming the white man, white man, white man. Any black man blaming your condition to a white man, you are a weak black man. You got no backbone, and you just looking for a guilt trip. Now say for anybody who want to blame your condition on the white man, you're weak. Look at yourself. If you want your condition to stop, then, then take the take the guns out of your neighborhood. Take the drugs out of your neighborhood. Huh? Yeah, yeah, the politicians not doing nothing, man. Talking about war on drugs, but we got more drugs coming in the neighborhoods, man. Stop blaming the white man, yo. You're weak. Straight up. It's our fault. We the reason why we in this condition, man. Not no white man. So that so so this is them brothers who cursing that white man, white man, white man. You're weak to be calling out the white man, the devil knows this nonsense, man. That's weak. And I gotta stress that. Y'all love to go on guilt trips. Oh, it's, it's his fault. Nah, it's your fault. It's your fault. You wanna disobey the commandments of this of this of this book, man. So the most side putting you in that position, in that condition that you win. Wake up. Y'all are better than that, man. Y'all are kings and queens, man. Y'all are y'all supposed to be a righteous people. 
Instead, y'all want to do what's wrong. This is just because it's so easy. Wake up. Y'all are intellects, man. Y'all are architects. Y'all built this country. We built this country, man. If it wasn't for us, working... Yo, if you take all the Negroes out the hood, who's gonna work in McDonald's? Who's gonna work in Foot Locker? Who's gonna work in Dwayne Reed? We built this pyramid the same way we built the pyramids in Egypt. Wake up. Wake up. But that's what I'm talking about. Let me, give, let me give you God's name, man. Bring y'all back to the Father because the God, the God that we're supposed to be worshiping, the God that took us out of Egypt, is not being worshipped at all. They got you worshiping Jehovah, Yahweh, and all, all these other different gods that's not in the Bible. Read, read me God's name real quick. Verse, start from verse thir um, 13. Exodus chapter 3 verse 13. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? What is his what? What is his name? What's his title? What is his name? What's your name, God? That's what Moses, Moses is asking. What is your name? Read. What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses. Together, watch. I am that I am. He said Jehovah. I am that I am. He said Yahweh. I am that I am. He said Allah. I am that I am. He said, I am that I am. Ahaya, Ashar, Ahaya in the Hebrew. That is God's name. Show who best right. Huh? Show and prove best right. Show and prove that? Show and prove that's right. I'm not to show you the Hebrew. I don't got it with you. You know, understand, one man can never know it all. That's why Einstein got a brain to you. He was not able to hold away. Einstein was a sadist, man. I don't deal with that man. Yeah, yeah, go look. Just, just listen, bro. Where's Jerusalem? Huh? Where's Jerusalem? Jerusalem is right here. Jerusalem is right here. Jerusalem is right here. We Israel, bro. Yeah, bro. I, I, talk, talk to me after, bro. Yo, with me, I got a book. No, no, you gonna hold on though. I'm talking. I have a book called Illuminati Two: The Sea and, and Seduction. It's a book about Illumi the Illuminati. I'm gonna prove to you that they know what God they worship in Freemasonry and all this other sects of Satanism. Read, read me on, um, read, read me right here. Demonology, the secret of ancient Egyptians and their modern disciples, the Freemasons. It's the art of demonology for gathering power. It's the art of demonology for gaining power. The Freemasons deal with ancient Egyptology. Read. Mainly through the devil, Jehovah. Mainly through the devil, who? Jehovah. Jehovah. Mainly through the devil, devil Jehovah. Jehovah the devil. The, in, in Masonic circles, right? When they're doing their rituals, they, they, they say the name Jabilin three times, and they end it with Jehovah. And then they give you their devil to worship. And you uphold that guy as your God. Read that again from the top. Demonology. The secret of ancient Egyptians and their modern disciples, the Freemasons. It's the art of demonology for gaining power. Mainly through the devil, Jehovah. Mainly through the devil, Jehovah. The I'm going to break down the name Jehovah for you. Jah in the Hebrew, it don't, it don't say, it don't denote what God is dealing with. It means any God. Like Jah Rastafari, the God of the Rastafarians. Hova in the Hebrew means calamity, mischief, wickedness. Matter of fact, I got it here. If you look in the Sean's Concordance, read that for me. The definition for Hova. Hova. Uh, Hebrew number H1942 translate, translates to eagerly coveting, falling, desire, ruin, calamity, iniquity, mischief, naughtiness, noisome, perverse, very wickedness. Very wickedness, man. You worshiping the God of calamity, falling, mischief, wickedness, all the above, man. That's Jehovah for you. 
But how do you know that's right? I did the research, bro. Leave me alone, man. I'm trying no, to. I, I'm asking a question. <laughs> I, I know you yo, leave yo, me yo. alone. What's the question, bro? I ask a question. I gotta leave it alone. God's name is Ahaya. God is an individual. One yo, man yo, can yo. never know it all. That's Get why Einstein got up a brain tumor. Let's see if the Illuminati <laughs> knows God's name. God and as I proved it in um, Exodus God 3 and 13, God's name is I am that I am. The only name he gave to Moses. Who's not God? Jehovah, not Yahweh, not Allah, not Yahweh, not who any other name God? you hear. Brother, brother, I'm, I'm trying to question. teach, brother. Let me, let me who preach, man. Who Yo, is God? Who is God? Hold on, I'm going to give you the answer. Give me, give me one minute. Thank you. As I was saying before, God's name is I am that I am. The only name he gave to Moses. And these other nations got us calling on other gods. And that's one of our curses. So God's name is not Jehovah. And then I'm going to prove to you that, that the Illuminati knows it. When was Moses born? Read, read me on subtitle God's name. Subti subtitle God's real name. The dynamic, the dynamic state of humanity. His father was Panamanian. The wise, the wise Solomon asks, us, "What is God's name, and what is His son's name? If thou can, if thou can, if thou canest tell, Proverbs 30 and 4. God's name is Ahia. God's name is what? Ahia. God's name is Ahia. Now, why the Illuminati know that? I did not write this book. How the Illuminati know God's name is I am that I am? And while they, they make sonic circles calling on Jehovah or Yahweh or Yahweh in their Masonic circles dealing with the six-pointed star. That's why we don't deal with the six-pointed star. It's not in the Bible. That's the highest symbol in witchcraft. Why do you think you're seeing so many um, so many demon, demon movies and all that madness? It's the, it's the symbol of Satan, the Baphomet, the six-pointed star. And why do the Jewish people got it on their flag? They deal with the Kabbalah. <laughs> Excuse me. They deal with the Kabbalah, which is Jewish mysticism. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull that up. Huh? Yeah, get that one. That was high, huh? So yeah, it's important that we know what God we serve, him, man. If the God that that led, led us out of the out of the, um, through the Red Sea, if He was being worshipped, we would know the Sabbath is from Friday sundown, sundown to Saturday sundown. We would know we got laws to be kept. We would know to love our neighbor the way we love ourselves. There will be no drugs in our neighborhood. We won't be killing each other with with, with the gun. We would know that if we knew who our God was. And most importantly, let me see that. We won't be worshiping this God, Cesar Borgia. The man they gave us to be Jesus Christ. Um, the most wicked and perverse man during the 1400s. Matter of fact, I got a book on this guy. Hold that for me. Here's a book I got with me called a trip type of poisoners. Information on Cesar Bourget, the man they put up to be Jesus Christ. Let me see that again. A, a, a well known assassin, a poisoner. He slept with his sister. He murdered, he murdered one of his brothers. That's the man they put up to be Christ. The son of the second pope, I mean the sixth pope of Rome. Rodrigo Borgia. That's the man they put up for, as your Lord and Savior. Mental slavery, man. On a high level. Huh? Read that for me. Malachi chapter 1 verse 14. For cursed be the deceiver which have in his flock of ill and vowed with a uh, sa sacrifice unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am the great king, saith the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. Your name is dreadful among who? The heathen. The, the Bible says the name of the Most High is dreadful among the heathen. That's exactly why your Jewish Nazareth hid it from you 
blaming this on the all of the